So my friends, you could be that small percentage where the narcissist doesn't come back for you. Have you ever wondered why? You read in blogs, you watch the videos and they all say, do you know what? They're gonna come back for you. And I know that I've even said this in some of my videos as well, but you might be that small percentage of people where the narcissist doesn't come back for you. Wanna know why? Watch this video. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in this video, my friends, in this video, you know what? I know that many of you have probably wondered this, why the narcissist doesn't come back for you. And you know, you hear it so much, you see it so much, you read about it so much that narcissists do actually come back. You know, you go on this cycle and you know, they come back for you because they want to repeat this cycle. They want to go through this with you again. And you're like, okay, so we've split again, or maybe we're in the silent treatment. It could be that they are sending you messages. They are maybe even communicating with you. They might be turning up to places where you are. And then, but this time, but this time it's different because they're not doing any of that. And you're thinking to yourself, well, hold on a minute. This is what you've always done. Like, why? Or it could be that maybe you've split up with the narcissist or they have walked away from you. And you're probably thinking, no, nah, no, no. They, you know, they're not gonna come back for me or they haven't come back for you. And you're like left there scratching your head thinking, well, why? Because everybody says that they come back, you know, so why are they not coming back for me? I have an answer for this. I have an answer for this. And consider yourself a small percentage of people that this happens to. The narcissist is known for coming back, okay? Coming back, not to rekindle the relationship with you, not that they really want this to work out and be in a relationship with you, it's because they come back because they want supply, they want something from you, they want your attention and they want your validation, they want your energy, okay, they want you to supply them with something and that something is all of the things that I mentioned, it's not you as a person Okay, it's what you can give. Remember, these relationships are transactional. This isn't a normal loving relationship. This is transactional. Okay, so that's why when the narcissist returns back into your life, they are wanting something from you. It's not because they have done the work, you know, and they have learned from their past mistakes, even though, even though, my friends, they probably tell you that they have and that they have realized you know, what they have done wrong and that everything's gonna be okay. What, like, this can happen in a number of weeks, days, months, like you're gonna learn just like that. It doesn't happen, take it from me. Okay, take it from me, my friends. You can't just unlearn these patterns of behaviors in a number of days, weeks, or months. It will take a bit of time for the person to understand. Okay, and for that, you would need to be in therapy, okay? You would need to be coached or guided by someone to help you to understand and gain this awareness, all right? So if you're, if they're not doing that, if that is not what is happening for them, okay, and they are not going into therapy or, or coaching or having guidance, then they are not doing the work. So when the narcissist comes back for you, they are coming back for one purpose, and that is to get supply from you. That is to get something from you, because these interactions are transactional, okay? So understanding this will really help you to kind of navigate this going forward, meaning for those of you where the narcissist doesn't come back for you, have you considered that perhaps maybe you're too strong for them? That you are too insightful, you know what's going on, you see through it and you have boundaries you're not putting up with it. You're too strong for them. That's why they don't come back for you. They will watch you. Please don't think that they're not gonna watch you. They will be watching you. But from their observations, they will realize that actually you're too intelligent, you're too emotionally intelligent for them. That they realize that actually, if they were to try and come back for you, if they were gonna try and get some sort of supply from you, they are going to fail. Now, a narcissist is not gonna embarrass themselves like that. They're not gonna do that to themselves. 
if they realize that they can't get you as a supply and get validation from you, they're not going to come back for you because they know, they know that you are going to knock them back. They know that you see through their behavior. And the last thing that a narcissist needs is to be called out on this behavior. They don't like this. Oh, it's not even that they don't like it. They hate this because you are exposing these behaviors. You are seeing through what they are trying to cover up. And believe me, this is very, very important for them, for this behavior to be covered up. So you see it. You know, for them, this is so embarrassing. So they are not going to come back for you. They're not going to want this from you because they don't want to be embarrassed. They don't want to be exposed. You see, this is all about the attachment disorder. All right. They detach from their real selves. All right, so how can they attach onto you in a healthy way? How can they detach from you in a healthy way? Which is why they keep watching you, which is why they keep wanting this transaction with you. This is why they come back to those people, because they believe that they can still get that from that person. The fact that they don't come back for you, they see something in you. They see that you are too strong. You have gotten too aware of what they are doing. They have been playing this game let me tell you, they've been playing this game since childhood. And this all comes from that dysfunctional childhood wound, okay, where their parents wanted them to be somebody, all right? And they realized that their parents abandoned or rejected who they are, all right? So they had to change. They had to change their persona. They had to change their personality. They had to change the way that they look at their whole life, only to model themselves into something that their parents wanted them to be. And so the parents always want them, all their children to be an extension of themselves. So that child has to be exactly like how they want them to be. And so you see the narcissistic child, all they wanted was acceptance and love and unconditional love. But they never got that because the narcissistic parent is not capable of giving that. And so the child quickly learned that they, they're not accepted the way that they are and who they are. So they've got to change, which is what has happened here they changed into something that they wanted their parents to be, which is why they continue to love bomb and mirror, okay, at the beginning of these relationships, because that's how they hook you in. They learned this from childhood. This is a dysfunctional behavior, a dysfunctional psychological construct that they have. And so this is part of that attachment disorder. So when they have molded themselves into being something that you want them to be, Okay, they know that they've got you hooked. So this is why then at that point, they become themselves, they're angry, rageful, jealous, upset, you know, melancholy self. Because how can you keep that up? How can you keep that fakeness? Up? You just can't. It's really impossible. It's just impossible. Okay, doesn't matter where you're a narcissist, you know, you just, you can't do that. Like, it's really hard to to keep on lying all the time and not be your authentic self. So at some point, you know, that narcissist does kind of decompose and become their real selves. But it's really difficult for them to detach from you because in a way they've kind of got used to you. They want this from you. You give them something that keeps them going, that keeps them alive, keeps them happy. Your misery is their happiness. That's how you've got to look at it. They will mold you. They will, they will need you to look after them and caretake for them. And the fact that you have gone or they have gone, okay, the reason why they have gone is because they were trying to teach you a lesson or try to teach you something because you didn't do something that conformed with them or something that you didn't do for them. That annoyed them. So they had to punish you in some way. But the fact that they're not coming back now, they've realized, oh my God, She's changed. She sees through this game that I'm playing. She sees through this and they feel embarrassed that they've got to be like this, but they're never going to show you that. They're never going to tell you that they will, you know, disguise it and detach from that and think, well, do you know what? Maybe I could just go and get some more people. Maybe I can just get some, another person to give me supply. But the thing is that supply that they get from that secondary person isn't as good as the supply that you give. Let me tell you that it's not as good. So they are going to want that from you, but they can't have it. So they can't return. They realize this is the end game. This is the end now. 
because the power lies in you actually the power lies in you see they see something in you that maybe you don't see within you and this is the way you've got to look at it they're not coming back for you for a reason otherwise they would be otherwise believe me they would be if they knew that we could go on this cycle again they would be coming back for you but they realize that they can't do that this time something within you has changed and if you really think about it you really look at it and assess this within you has something changed for you? Have you noticed any changes that have come up for you that maybe in the way that you're interacting, maybe with the way you are talking? Probably. Probably that you have. And so this is what the narcissist is seeing. And that's why they're not coming back for you. And you know what? I'm going to say to you is this. This is amazing. This is wonderful. This is the best outcome ever. Okay? Now you see through them. You see what is going on and you need to keep going in that direction. You need to be moving forward. I know this is tough. I know this is a really difficult part of the journey, but it doesn't mean that your life and everything stops here. This is the beginning of your new life. This is a new chapter for you to go forward. This person isn't bring, is not going, it, it's not going to go anywhere good. So you have to keep going forward. You have to keep pushing forward for you because you are important in all of this. This isn't about them not coming back for you. This is about you actually rising up, leveling up, seeing for what it is and moving forward from this. Okay. If you are going through this and you need some help, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. If you want to talk through it, please see the description box below. Look, you don't have to go through this alone. And you know, it would help you to maybe talk with someone, um, maybe, um, you know, join some groups or things like that that would help you to understand this next part of the journey. I also have a journaling club and a mentorship. If you are interested in joining, please see the description box below. And also a really good resource for you is absolutely free is to join the discord server there is a community of like-minded individuals who are also on this journey with you this was really great because it's like peer support all you have to do is see the link in the description box and it will take you straight there okay so guys thank you so much for watching and know that you've got this keep going forward take care and i'll see you in the next video goodbye